Hello and welcome back to Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to customize NeoFetch and what customization options are available to you. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. So you're probably wondering, well, Nick, why do I want to customize NeoFetch? Isn't just doing NeoFetch enough? You might argue that, yes. Yes, this could be enough. That might quite e that might easily be enough for you. However, there are a lot of options available to us. So let's start looking into them. So first thing we want to do, first thing that is available to us, we can run uh, NeoFetch the moment we open the terminal. So what we have here is our dot bash rc file. Can I, have, I currently have open Sublime Temp. Text as that's my text editor of choice. So, for example, if we were to do you know, fetch at the end of this, hit save and just close the terminal, open the terminal up, it would output new fetch every single time. But I don't want it to do that, so I'm just going to clear this, bring my sublime back, and save this, close, and then Example. If you want to do that, you could do. But in this demonstration, we're going to look deeper. We're going to go deeper. So, to get to our customization options for NeoFetch, we need to first have our file manager. And to do that, we need to go to .config in your home directory, and then go down to NeoFetch, and then open up config.conf, and what we have here is I'm just going to move that down, make that go away. We have everything here that will affect how we use NeoFetch and what shows up. So these are the default options that just go through and say, so let's just have a quick look. So our OS is Manjaro, our kernel is 6.0.2-2, super 2. And it just goes through and shows everything there. And then it goes through and shows us what else is available for us. So in this case, there is GPU driver and CPU usage. So save that and just go NeoFetch. And as we can see here, our GPU driver is AMD GPU and our CPU usage is, is at 10%. Some nice information. We can also, in this case, have a look at disk our battery usage if for example we were on a laptop but we're not so this might chuck up a oh, i don't know so as we can see here we currently have 96 percent disk usage which means i need to have a clean out but it doesn't show the disk the battery usage because it recognizes that there is no battery available which is good so there are a lot of customization options available for example you could also shrink this down you could make it bigger you could change it all about this you have a lot of the customization options available on the NeoFetch uh, GitHub, which you can get to quite easily just by typing in NeoFetch into any browser and it takes you straight to the GitHub, which is actually pretty damn nice. There's also a lot of customization tweak options. So, for example, I'll just clear this. Uh, so the kernel changes. So, for example, this here is just saying, oh, kernel shorthand on. So it only goes 4.8.9. So for example, if I say to off that, save, and bring up NeoFetch, it's now Linux 6.0. But if I change that back to on, again, save it, it's just 6.0. So things like saying, oh, look, this is Linux, for example. But it's not. So uh, that's the examples there. Uh, we can have it to show or hide something. For example, the architecture. So in this case, this is on. But in this case, we will change it to OS. All right, architecture. Save. Clear this. We have a good spell. If it's so again, our architecture should show up. If I can find it. I am 
most likely be in bind. Ah, see what I did here is I changed this to OS architecture instead of off because previously it was on. So if I change that to off, save. Um, I will not do that just yet. I can do that. So our sure high so x86 in distro output, which would be uh, here. It's gone. So if we change that, we have our x86 64. So just small things like that. We can then change this to actually show us how long we've been turned on. So it now includes our up to our uptime includes mins. And so this is this. We can change this to on tiny or off. Uh, we will just change this to tiny as a example. So change that to ooh, nope. I'm going to change this to off. Change it to tiny. In this case, clear. If it's sure, then just 10H20M. So things like that, but I'll just change this back to on. Oh, bother. Oh. We will reverse all of those changes because it's easy to do that. So there's just a lot of like moving around and just changing of output. So, for example, our memory unit output. So we can then change the RAM. So it's, instead of being 24,405 MIBI bytes out of 32,027 MIBI bytes, we can then change it to Gibby, Gibby bytes. So for example, let's just do G, hit save, and then do a new fetch. We now have a clear, different, clear difference between uh, the MIBI bytes and the gigabytes, which I quite like, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep it as MIBI bytes. But if you wanted to be an absolute madman, and you could just change it to Kippy bytes instead and try and interpret that wall of numbers. It's rather insane. I don't know why you do that. But then again, it's your Linux. Go for it. There's nothing stopping you from being an absolute mad person. So this would... So let's look at uh, the packages here. So if we do new fetch, we can see our packages. We can see I have 1500 Pac-Man and 3 Snap. And this is just, we can just change the amount and just say, hey, look, we only have 908. As an example, in my case, I have 1,581 packages. Uh, we can set it so just tiny or off, so it just doesn't show us. So I'll go with off first. We do near fetch, it currently says for packages. Fit. That's an additional three, so. Apparently Manjaro doesn't know what it's talking about. So that's weird. Again, if we do tiny, save that. It just says, oh look, Pac-Man and Snap. But again, this says 1,578 and three. So there's something going on wrong, wrong there. And I'm not doing math, but I'm not doing maths bad. So yeah, and we bring back a new fetch. We've got our differentiation again. So again, this is just our path to shell, our shell version. This can show us our CPU stuff. Uh, my speed shorthand is not is off, which is good because I I want to see what the speed is. In my case, it should be our CPU is this. It should be running at three point. Well, that is actually running at the what I've set it to. It shows CPU brand. It shows it can show hide the speed. It can show hide the cores, for example. Logical, which would be in this case 12 as a six core process, processor, but with hyper threading, hyper threading, it then takes it up to 12, which is always good. In this case, it can also show us CPU temperature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set that to on, uh, save, do quit, bring back no fetch. So as we can see, it's kind of, it, it is somehow running at 39.5 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good. So it, it has the values of Celsius, Fahrenheit, or off. In this case, I just want it to be, as we can see here, because we typed on, 
it's like 39 degree, 39.5 degrees on change that to c and then uh hit save it's corrected it to 40.2 degrees celsius or so change it to fahrenheit for uh, everyone that isn't in america for everyone that is in america you have 104.3 so in my case, I'm just going to leave this to Celsius because uh, I use uh, I don't use American units. Okay, the terminal is wanting to have a moment with me, so I'll just open a new tab. And as we can see, here, forty point eight degrees Celsius. So it just there are a lot of there are a lot of customization options available, which is actually pretty nice. It can also show us our resolution, and we can add the refresh rate as well. For example, we can see here I have two uh, 1080p monitors at 60 hertz. But because I just add some extra, and I already know they're running at 60 hertz anyway, I don't need to be reminded every time a Neo fetch. So just back to 1080p. Uh, this can go through and just show us our GTK theme icons and font. So for example, we will set this to uh, we'll set the shorthands to on and then do neo fetch so this is just going through just shortening these downs a little bit if we were to change this to oh, change this to uh off save and then bring this back is does not have the gtk2 and gtk3 up here it just gets rid of the extra additional information we don't need somehow my cpu has managed to drop 10 degrees in 10 and a half or nine and a half degrees in less than a minute very much strange very much strange so for, the, for example this uh website to ping for public ip address gives the ability to ping something if we chose it so if we scroll up to the top and find uh, info public ip address Let's save this and then scroll back down to our public IP address and then just do uh, HTTP SQL slash google.com or we just leave that at ident because that's the example I'll just leave that at ident oops save that do a clear Neo fetch. As we can see, our public IP address is this. Um, my public IP address is already available and out to the world anyway. So this is nothing new. There's no bother there. Um, public IP address timeout. So just if there's any issues, it's fine. Uh, we can then have it so which disks are to be displayed. Go through that. That's just a pain because I already have a lot of I already have a lot of discs, so I don't want to add any of that. With the we have a lot of like options for selecting of songs that are available. So for example, we could use Spotify to put up a song, or if we had VLC running and we were watching a television show, we could have that show or iTunes or anything because I uh because NeoFetch is not just for Linux, it also works on Windows as well as uh, Mac OS. So, and uh, if I remember correctly, new, the developers NeoFetch claim it can support up to 150, at least 150 Linux variations. So, there are a lot of uh, 150 operating systems. So, there's a lot, a lot of audio plays to choose from. I just go through just selection of colors, uh, selection of uh, artists and information. Uh, when it comes down to text colors, we have default for this so for example this gives us the option to display this in our colors so you fetch so we can then do the text is based colors text is based text is color in the order above so here text number 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 so let's just do this, for example, will do four, six, one, eight, eight, six. Save this. Things have changed around, so all of our colors change. 
I will say, it does look, I definitely does look different, and I'm a, I'm a bit partial to this. I haven't tried to change that around before, so it's always a little nice. Of course, this is title, the at symbol, so title on at is for the first number, and the underline subtitle. So, for example, if I were to change that to a five, uh, that to a three, that to a seven, that's to a seven, that to a nine, one, and leave that at four. Come back here. We have an entirely different color scheme. And it's actually pretty nice. I will, I will agree the purple and white actually does really nice. Does look really nice, and I might actually just leave that alone. Of course, you don't know uh, how you feel about these things until you try it out. I haven't tried it out before, so I think I'm all right with it. Of course, there's just more color book, more more information. We're currently here on the list. Currently, the 600s range. This goes on for significant longer. This is just uh, bar borders, bar characters, just things that we could choose from. Uh, display bar, display bar with the info. So, for example, more information stuff. Image backend. So, with this, we can actually get it to display an actual image and an image source. So, for example. If we change this from ASCII to W3R to, uh, for example, let's choose uh, CACA. Of course, I don't, apparently don't have CACA installed. So what I want to do is I want to just change the auto to after the file. I want to do slash uh, slash documents so i'm just going to leave that one alone because that's a lot of um, information to put in don't want to do that because my uh the linux panic logo is buried deep so i just i don't want to change that that'll be fine so there's a lot of stuff to change here but quite easy to change all of this now i ask you options there are a lot a lot we could choose from and the automatic just chooses your distro name so let's just change our logo for example so for example let's commit heresy and go not only windows but windows 7 enter save that windows 7 manjaro that's a thing that can be done that is actually rather strange, but at the same time, why not? You can you can change your own and have have a little fun with your friends if you're showing this off. Of course, once you save it and then just put it back, you got your you got your regular ass neo fetch again, which is also good. Again, we can change uh, the ASCII around so make it actually match operating system. This is again choice cut. This is if you had an image here. This is. This section here would change how it's cropped. Uh, that is uh, explained in the wiki uh, on their GitHub. I will leave a link to the NeoFetch GitHub in the description below so you can then have a look at it and learn more on how to mess around and do stuff with it. So this is the end of the video. We've gone through. You've learned some stuff. There's all sorts of stuff you can change. And for the sake of being complete, I'm going to go through and change all of these to on. This is not going to work for some of these, but I'm going to enable all of these to on. Hit save, do a clear, and then do a neo fetch. Everything that, that, that it can give me, it has given me, which is pretty good. So, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to hit the like button, if you dislike to hit the dislike. What heart? Oh, you only see half of them, 100% of the time, but I see 100% of them 100% of the time. So whichever one you click, I can still tell which one it is. I would like to thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell whilst you're at it, and do all the call to actiony stuff and leave a comment about what you'd like to see in the future. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. 
and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.